Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here for another jewelry unbagging, jewelry jar unjarring, but this of course is a bag. I haven't seen real jars in quite a while, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to cut right into this thing, which weighs about six pounds, I would say. So this is a big one. We're going to split it right down the middle, pour out as much as we can, and get started. I often find wonderful things. I have found designer items Everything from David Yerman to Bulgari to James Avery, often, <laughs> often find James Avery, and I'm hoping to find some good things today, but sometimes just the costume jewelry itself is so unique and um, quite worthy of um, reselling as well. Oh my goodness, and I'm so scared because they tighten this thing so tight around the jewelry. It's really hard to get started here. Lots of cutting, oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> People want to see the rings I'm wearing. I have a beautiful, the same one I've been wearing for a while, a lapis and turquoise. I have a beautiful James Avery bow. I have a wonderful turquoise I just got. Vintage and very pretty. This is garnets. Love this one too. And let's put everything back in place. So here's a few things, a few items. Put the bag out that way and see what pops out and straighten out my beautiful little linen banner there. Okay, here we go. We do have some vintage item here. I think this is a, pretty safe to say this is a vintage bracelet. It's a stretch. All the rhinestones seem to be there. That's pretty. Looks like it could use a cleaning. Oops, there of course has to be one missing. There it is there. That might be an easy repair though. We have a tiny little cross here. Let me see if we have anything on as far as marks are concerned. Could just be silver tone. That's nice. Some gold earrings. These are post. I'll put these aside and see if we don't match up any. Small bangles. These look like really, really tiny. Probably size five. These are red. I love these. I got these one time in blue, and I did manage to slip them on, and they were oh, um, kind of a turquoise blue. Just so pretty. Got some watches. This is a Citizen. No, Anne Klein. It's a pretty one. Nice tank look. So that's very nice. More earrings, loose earrings. Dangles. Kind of open hoops there. Another watch. This one is a Chico's. This one's pretty too. A nice look on that. Very nice. And yet another watch. What is this one? This one says just quartz. It looks like it is on a leather band. And oh, this is a fun little necklace. Is this Christmas? These are pretty too. These appear to be onyx. Possibly sterling. Could be alpaca. There's a little twisted gold pearl there. That looks interesting, too. That's a very nice earring. I love that. That does appear to be onyx, but it could be just an acrylic onyx. It does not feel like an acrylic or resin. That's gorgeous. That, oh, I hope I find that one. What's this? There's something else that looks sterling. There's another onyx-looking ring. This one feels like it's not onyx, though. Not ring. Um, oh, it's signed. Hmm. Well, I'll have to take another look at that. Adriana, I think it says Adrian or Arden, Adrian or Arden. It is a scratch signature, it says Audrey. Audrey Sulmac or Schumac, I'm not sure, that's pretty. Oh, here's a nice stretch, very nice. Pearls, still intact too. And those are genuine pearls. Those are genuine freshwater pearls. Very pretty. Oh, I love that. That's nice. So far, so good, guys. Crescent is what this one says. The band is, is a little worn on that one. This is heavy. This is a nice stretch. It says Coldwater Creek, I think, or Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee. That's pretty. That's very nice. It does appear to be stretched out a little bit because of that weight. They get tend to get that way. Here's another nice one multi-colored stones on this one very interesting stretch as well this is the one that said what in the world this is so cute 
This is Christmas, guys. Look at this precious thing. They have strands of lights. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's got a ballerina. It is just so much fun. Look at this. Just look at this. That is the cutest piece of Christmas jewelry I've ever seen. It has everything from Santa to the Nutcracker, the Angel, some glass. This is actually glass, a little glass star there. Oh my gosh, just darling. <laughs> this one's losing a little color, but it's still darling. And look at that beautiful ballerina there. Oh, cute. Another ornament. This one's a bear, like a little honey bear. Oh, wow. What is she holding? An ice cream cone? Some little dolls, trees, just everything all in this gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. That is really pretty. All right, here's a nice earring. I like this tassel. Look at that. That looks like it's never been used. Those are very pretty and festive. Oh, I hope we get those. Oh, let me look at this gold one here. This really looked interesting. It looked like it might be real gold because it's gold all around and it looks like it's marked on the stem. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a marking right there on the stem. So let's read it. Okay, let me read what it says. 14K, 14K, and then it has an infinity symbol. Awesome, as close as I can get you. 14K, there you go, Ooh, that's a good clear picture. Very, very nice. Let me see if the back of it has the mark as well. This one does not have a mark. Looks like it says CU on both sides. So I'm gonna have to test this and see if, it, if this one is 14K. All I see on there is CU. But nice to have the earring. Very nice, look at that. How does this go? Oh, it's it's been detached right here. It needs to be put right back there on the finding and it should be fine. This is a very pretty necklace. See? Yeah, that's pretty. But that is a repair. Here's a pendant. It has an A on it. I swear every time I get some single monograms, they seem to have an A. This is actually sterling too, guys. It's 925. So that's a nice piece. It's Thailand 925 marked inside the bale. So you can barely see it, but that's very nice. Very nice, I like that. More of these teeny tiny little bangles. And now we have an orange beaded necklace. Another stretch, just a black one. This is pretty. Is it missing the stone? Yeah, it actually looks like it had like a, it's got some threading there, so whatever was on there actually kind of bolted down. Very interesting. I guess we could replace that with something. I mean, just to save it, because it's a pretty bracelet. Let's see? I guess we could put a pearl on there or something, or it was probably interchangeable. That's probably why it's threaded, so you can Kind of just twist it off and then f find another one to put on there. Change up the colors or something. This is pretty. This is stretched too. Very nice and taut. Gold beads. The beads are acrylic. This one's cute. This one says something Indianapolis Speedway. Indianapolis Speedway on that one. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, look at this poor <laughs> watch band. This is why when people say, I don't care if I get real leather or not, I do. <laughs> get go grain or some, grow grain or something else, but don't get that fake leather, guys. It will just go bad on you eventually. What a pretty watch, too. There's a tiny ring. I don't know what this is. Maybe it was on a necklace. It is, uh, it could be stainless. It could be pewter, it is not marked, but it looks like sea glass here, the green one, and the brown one, I'm not sure. It just kind of looks like uh, an agate of sorts. It's beautiful, 
wire wrapped there and I don't know why it's on this tiny little ring maybe they were napkin rings pretty as napkin rings okay here's another little tassel earring here's a pretty bracelet this looks like sterling it is mark sterling nice it looks like it could be broken though yeah yeah it needs to be reattached and there you go we just need to close that up it's got like a little flexible mesh that's gorgeous I like that we got a match on these earrings already so that's good more crazy bangles here is a green boy this bag is letting out a lot of debris this is acrylic beads they're kind of khaki green with some gold flecks around them kind of marled actually long necklace multi-shaped beads there and this is interesting this is um a metal heart it almost looks like copper underneath it looks like I can see a little bit of something there but I can't quite tell and start looking at your black and jewelry guys because there is a real or there's a profusion actually of designers who are doing the blackened sterling including Yerman excuse me including Hardy that I just saw in his catalog so take a real good look at that jewelry that looks like it's black and they're doing it with gold too so I'm going to look at this a little closer I don't see a mark right now but it is metal so it's very interesting this magnet is powerful too see it looks it picks up the loop but it doesn't pick up the heart so I'll take a look at that that's interesting and very pretty I actually like the blackened look on that here's another pearl bracelet this one has one of these little trumpet style closures and it does have some little spacers there that are embellished with rhinestones so that's very pretty these are not genuine pearls these are faux pearl a little crocheted or friendship type bracelet little woven bracelet from uh, American Outfitters I believe that's an interesting earring too let's put that over there oh we got a brooch a cute Christmas brooch enameled very nicely made actually it's weighty cute simple wreath do not see a maker mark it is riveted does appear to be somewhat vintage maybe from the 70s or so it's pretty always nice to get the Christmas brooches I love them oh my goodness look at this does this all go together I think it does and uh, or is there a magnet thing in here these are those little magnet did they actually put that no no it's just <laughs> it's just kind of entangled there a little entanglement or tangulation as I say <laughs> all right so that is a separate and this one has a barrel clasp which is different too I rarely see them with clasps at all and it's kind of a hematite look with some I don't think they're actually tiger eye the other beads there they're interesting occasionally we get the Mardi Gras beads I don't get that that many I get a lot of the uh, glass bangles but here's some interesting beads stuck to everything so this is a multitude of different style chains in a khaki and a yellow and sort of a forest green color and that's a long necklace that's interesting with oh got the earring I believe these are so cute I really like these I think these are awesome <laughs> I really think these are cute and they look brand new they have not even been worn I'll bet so that's a nice find I believe I like them. these are glass they almost look like they want to be they want to have that um, reticulation inside beautiful color I love this lime it really is pretty that's nice and this is what is this another earring that says chicas I think 
No, this is Monet. Little gold tone, simple hoop there. Oh, we got the ones that are signed by the designer. These are pretty. They don't say 925, but they do have her signature there. So that's nice. Let me see if they're not sterling. Well, they're not sticking. Let me see if there's anything written in the back of it. No. I'm going to polish these up and take a really good look at them, guys. These are beautiful. I love those earrings. Those are really pretty. Okay, we've got some little loose ends here. Lots of beads and earrings that need to be either matched up or put in a bead lot. Oh, this is pretty. This is heavy. These are like ceramic. Interesting closure there. That's pretty. Where's my little thing? I'm pretty. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice look. There's actually turquoise that color, too. I'm not saying that that is turquoise. Okay. This is a little bangle. It's cute. It's got a heart and a pearl, a faux pearl, that just kind of rotate all around it. Cute bangle. This is, uh, who is this? British Airways. Little giveaway, I guess, with the airline. Then more hoops. Oh, this is an interesting one. This looks like genuine pearls. Possibly gold filled. It looks like it's broken though, but let's see what the little mark says, the dangle there. 120 gold filled. And that's really pretty. It just needs a, um, it's got the clamper, so I don't know. I guess we'd have to figure out a way to put another clamp. And I'll probably put that in a beadlock. That would be a nice addition to a beadlock. Here's a little pretty chain. This one does look like sterling. It's nice. It does have that very interesting razor blade looking tab there. Let me see what it says. This one does say sterling in words. In the word sterling, not 925. Then it has kind of a diamond shape. Actually looks a little bit more like the... Uh, a shield and it does say sterling there so that's nice it's a nice necklace very pretty oh that is so shiny and pretty no kinks either that's always nice that's, and sometimes these little wrinkles can be ironed out you just have to be really gentle I appreciate that for sure sterling here's a nice little bracelet is it broken too oh it is what a shame, but that's going to go into a crafter lot. Someone could do something with just these two at the top. Look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, you could just take these two or three at the top, finish it off differently. Let me see if it didn't say anything on that. It is Trafari. It was a crown Trafari. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. I bet that was so awesome. There it is there, a little crown trafari. So that came off when I yanked on it to read it, but that'll go into the crafter basket for people that wanna buy crafter pieces. This is pretty. It's got a little key, it is a stretch. And these are glass, black beads, so pretty. That is really cute, very nice. Okay, here's another nice stretch. These appear to be uh, probably a reconstituted or treated stone of some sort because it has very much like a copper gold flecking through the blue. And then the black ones are probably also ceramic or glass. This is nice. It's got a little butterfly there. It's got that little butterfly there. That is so cute. That's a nice stretch. Another watch. Oh, this one had tons of watches. This one says Ro Rowena. Rowena or something like that. Black. So, uh, some more charms. Some more loose beads. Here's a big old heavy piece. Nice. Black. This is a nice statement piece. It really is. More of those bangles. We have a little bracelet. This is silver tone toggle with a heart. That's pretty. 
Oh, we have another glass bangle. This one's beautiful. This one's kind of a purple. I love these glass bangles. Very nice. Beautiful color, like a periwinkle, right? Then we have a huge medallion here on a long gold tone chain. Probably 30 inches long, so that's awesome. I like that. The gold tone variety, these are definitely coming off, so I'll just put that in the put those in the recycle bin. The gold one's nice though, it can look still fairly decent with a stack. Black rhinestone stretch. Okay, let's pour out some more as we put aside some of these. Another glass bangle. Two earrings here that will match up in a minute. This is a long earring with feathers. That's interesting. All right, here's a pink stretch, pearls. And another one. To take those to my granddaughter, I put those aside. Another feather earring. Kind of messed up though. Oh, here's a shell piece. This is nice. Very nice shell piece with other shells. Very pretty, oh my goodness, that's darling. It's a full shell there. Yeah, that is a nice piece. Some other kind of round beads there. More pearls, another pearl looking shells. Very nice, I love that, that's beautiful. This one's fun, lime colored. I can't tell what it says on this embassy. A little fashion watch. And this is acrylic, but looks like natural stones. Stretch bracelet. That's pretty. That looks really nice. All right, did I get that gold tone out? Here it is. Let's see what is in here. It's a multi-strand. This is pretty. When they retain their color, they are just so pretty. This looks like a... I was going to say crown trafari, but no. It's just a multi-strand, actually three strands. They are layered, staggered that way in length. And they are the cobra chain. Very nice. That's a lot, a lot of shine on these. I love that. Then we have one of these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. We've been getting quite a few of these clamper style. We got one the other day with turquoise. This one's gold tone. Rhinestones, I do not see any missing right off the bat. Here's a pretty brooch. Oh, this is gorgeous. All the stones are here too on this one. It has white, kind of a glitter enamel. It has red berries on there. And then he's got beautiful green eyes. Oh, I love it. That one's really pretty. It's funny, that actually can go in or out like that. And it says peace. I thought it was the maker mark. But that's the back of it. All right, more single earrings. We have a necklace. This is pretty. A little, oh, that's really pretty. Rhinestones are nice on that. Feels very nice. Let's see what the mark says there. If it has one, can't see. It feels so sleek. Okay, this one does say 925. So that's pretty. Those are probably crystals or CZs. Let me just look at the back real quick. Very nice. This is 925 on the back. And it is gorgeous. It really is pretty, very pretty with that flower. I love that. I really do. And that chain, honestly, it felt like gold. It felt so smooth and buttery. Look at that. Lots of pretty bright. I would say they're probably crystals. Pave setting there. Nice thing here. A nice little bracelet. These kind of look like sterling. That fish look like sterling. The cross I'm not sure of and these don't. But it's a beautiful bracelet. Christian symbols here. A little heart there. That's nice. That's a pretty piece too. Oh, this is heavy. Lots of strands on this one, guys. The little bead ball. 
Oh my goodness. I guess it is five strands of a bead ball chain in silver. Very weighty too. So that's nice. Okay. Oh, look at this, guys. We are ready for Christmas with this. <laughs> look at the sound. Listen to the sound. Oh, wow. Perfect. It's got jingle bells all around it. They're acrylic. They're coil. That is so cute. It's on the larger side. So perfect. Oh, my goodness. I love it. That's going to have to go into my Christmas uh, lots. <laughs> Here's a heart. This one, I don't know. Let's see if it sticks to the magnet. Sticking to everything. This one does pick up, so it's probably just a base metal of some sort. Very pretty little locket, though. I like it. And actually, I don't think it opens. It just has kind of a caged look. So, no, it does not open up. But look at how cute. That's pretty. Some broken pieces. This looks like it was going to be Christmas in in there as well, but we will put all of these beads together for a bead liar. These are acrylic, gold, kind of topazy, citrine color. Very nice. Very nice. And they are acrylic, so they're lightweight. And there is a copper paparazzi. That is more like a rose gold color, actually. Still packaged. I kind of like the earrings. They're pretty. And there we're selling them for the same price paparazzi does. It's a heavier metal than I've been seeing with paparazzi. I'm impressed. This is awesome. Look at this, guys. These are genuine pearls. This is amethyst, and it says right here, $30 originally. $45 on sale for $29. <gasps> Amazing. Where was this from? This was compare it 45, 20. I don't know where. And then Goodwill wanted what? What did they want for them? They wanted six dollars. Well, I'm sure glad they threw them in a lot or in a jewelry jar. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Genuine amethyst, guys, and little pretty little pearls of the freshwater variety. Look how gorgeous those are. Three strands. That's amazing. Okay, well that paid for the jar right there. Honestly. $50 normal retail on those. $45. So, that is a really, really nice buy. I love it. That's gorgeous. Just amazing. Another pink one. That is so cute. A white. This one's actually running. A white watch that is running. This is Marathon. Wilson, or what does this say? I don't know, I can't quite tell, but it is at the right time. Uh, a little behind, actually, 15 minutes behind, I believe. So that's a nice one to put into the watch lot when they're working. Oh my goodness, look at these disco ball earrings. These are cute. And here is a stretch. And another stretch. Another pretty little heart bracelet. This one has a kind of a floating charm and a silver one. And I believe the gold one appears to be, no, they're metal. They're both metal. They're just kind of light. And of course, they're just base metal costume pieces, but that is really pretty. Yeah. Kind of a gold band there with some rhinestones. Some rhinestones are missing. Lots of wear on this one, guys. I'll likely put that in a crafter. There is a stretch ring. This is a stretch bracelet with hearts and fish. Probably also a uh, religious theme bracelet here. Then we have kind of a cat eye bracelet here. Excuse me. Cat eye necklace, blue and white. Very pretty colors on that. We have a stretch. These are glass, really pretty. Very pretty color, like a whiskey color there. Yet another watch. This one is also very worn on the band. Red. We have a gold clip on. Not not very many matches on the earrings. A few, but not that that many. Let's see what else we have here. 
Oh, this is cute, guys. This is silver and gold tone. And it kind of looks vintage to me. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a princess. I mean, not princess. It's a premier design. So it is a woven gold and silver tone. It's still got wonderful color and shine. So that's a very nice piece. It's probably 30 inches long. And this is a silver tone, pink, very shiny ring, very bright. But uh, some wear. It's definitely a copper base. Oh, that would be pretty if all that copper just showed through. And I guess a crystal, some kind of pink crystal or rhinestone. Okay, here's a gold ring. This almost looks like real gold and real diamonds because they're very small. <laughs> if they were rhinestones, wouldn't you have gone bigger? Right? Yeah, these are diamonds, guys, for sure. And it's 10K. Bingo! Awesome! Awesome, it is bent, look at that. <laughs> but it does say 10K on the inside and it does look like it as well. And again, the reason I figured it was genuine is because those tiny little illusion setting diamonds look awfully tiny, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's 10K regardless, nice. And it's a hammered band. I'll put that on my mandrel. I love the hammered band. Appears to be machine hammered, not hand hammered, but that's pretty. Nothing wrong with a little gold, right? And uh, here's a nice bracelet, kind of an infinity symbol, some dyed howlite, kind of um, crocheted there. Forgot what they called it. This looks like sterling, little knots all around it. Ring, let me see what it says. I don't see a mark on this one either. It does not stick, but I really think that might be sterling, so we're going to look at that. It's kind of lightweight. Uh, just little, almost looks like little pretzel knots in there. So that's interesting. That would make a nice thumb ring, though. I'll shine that up. All right, here we have a nice little, oh, I thought it was a brooch. It's a hair thingy. And I saw it from the back. I thought it was a brooch, but it's just a little rhinestone hair thingy, so that'll go in the crafter lot. Here's a pretty little charm. It is just silver tone, I believe. We have a ring. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe, guys. This is a ring from like 1975, because this is what we call promise rings. I remember these rings. I had one very similar, except mine was squares, I believe. It has the tiniest of diamond chips. <laughs> it's probably 10 karat gold. Let me check and see. I cannot believe it. Mine was in yellow gold, though. That is so, so funny. It's actually gold plated, I think. Is that what it says? No, it says 14K, our love. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. <laughs> yes. that We were just talking about this not too long ago, about these promise rings that people used to give to each other in high school and stuff and there it is it says 14k our love that is so so funny oh my goodness and it's got the tiniest little diamond chip that is so cute I remember getting one of these when I was in high school wow and mine was in that is so pretty in white gold mine was in yellow gold I remember pretty much the exact same style except it was squares instead of triangles how funny well bingo on that one too black chain these are real pearls i believe yes i don't know what kind of stone this is it does look like some kind of quartz it is heavy the pink pearl is also genuine I'm not sure what the red stone is that's very pretty. Black beads. It looks like a vintage piece as well. That is so funny. I'm still kind of freaking out about the ring. So interesting. Okay, here's a big black necklace. Statement piece. It has a little bit of a tangle here. It's acrylic. 
And there it is there. That is really big. Definitely more of a collar style. All right, then we have a brooch. Is that two angels here? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. No, it's two doves with a dangly cross. That is really pretty. Gold tone. Does have a maker. It looks almost like a Sarah. G Juicy or Guisty? I don't know. I can't even pronounce it. G U I S T I is what it looks like it says. Gorgeous brooch. It really is pretty. I like that. Very nice. Then we have a beaded necklace with graduated beads of white and then some gold. Little seed beads in there as well. That's nice. Heart in here on a nylon braided cord. Has a little bit of wear on it. And then we have some gold bead earrings, a little micro beading there. We also have some keys. I think there's an earring stuck in here. Okay, there's a little dangle charms of keys, a little cross. Some of these are glass. A little flower charm too. Nice little costume piece. Very pretty charms in a gold tone. Antiqued gold tone color. This is a nice one. This is very pretty. I love that. That's a nice piece. Little statement piece with beautiful cobalt blue and turquoise blue. Very many. Oh, these are pretty. These are matched up. They're kind of a very small door knocker. And they are in um, Monet, I think. Yeah, these are marked Monet. Very pretty. They're in great condition, too. Those are nice. Very nice. Oh, these are the ones that have that big stud in the back. So the back is actually part of the adornment as well. Here's a gold heart locket. Looks like gold filled or something. It does have kids' pictures in it. It's in there. And here's a copper brooch. That's pretty. It's a very small little circle brooch. Appears to be genuine copper. Very nice. I like that one too. Here's a little snowman charm. And then here's another statement piece. Pearls and rhinestones. A little bit of wear on that. So I'll probably put that in a crafter lot. Oh, a tangled web. Let me do this here. Got a mom pendant here too. This looks like sterling. It's very shiny. It looks like it has some kind of rhodium plating or something on it. But it looks to be marked 925. So let's see what comes out of here. Okay, it's a nice chain with the pendant. It does say mom on it. And it is Mark, Mark 925. Both the ring and the little bar are Mark 925. And then the pretty filigree pendant. Let me see if this is marked. Yes, it is marked at the very top. It does appear to have a coating of sorts, like a um, non-tarnishing plating. So I'm going to, of course, test that to see what's going on with that. There's no sticking. So I'm sure it's sterling, but we'll double check it anyway. Nice chain on it. That's a pretty piece. Little mom necklace. Sterling silver. Very pretty. 
multi-dimensional there. Very nice. All right, we've gotten some gold and silver. Nice, this has turned out to be a pretty good jar. This is a premier design, dual tone, two tones here, silver, silver tone and yellow. Gold tone and silver tone. <laughs> Very pretty necklace. Yeah, that's a nice one. And then another brooch. Oh, this is cute. A little articulated Santa. All the brooches, a lot of the brooches have been Christmas brooches. So that's pretty. Look at that. Little swinging Santa jumping over a rope, it looks like doing jump rope or something and he's on skates too so that's cute thin kind of tin like earrings they're clip I don't believe we got the match to this earring that's an interesting earring not yet anyway and this is a premier design as well that's what it says here's a gold tone emerald colored rhinestone ring little wear on that and here is a bracelet looks like silver tone indeed these are pretty earrings a little marcasite kind of a pearl or um, yeah faux pearls they're very pretty though but I don't think we have a match we shall keep looking. Here's a silver curb chain. This looks like sterling too. But let me check that mark there. Or that little bar that's there. Sometimes that's where they're marked. 925. This one does say sterling. And let me see. It almost looks like it says Avery. Yes. Awesome. All right, that's always nice. And I knew it was a good quality chain because it was very weighty. There it is, Avery Sterling. Awesome. And they do a lot of just the simple curved chains. So that is awesome. I love getting that. I love getting me an Avery chain. It really adds to the value of the pendant when you can put it on an Avery chain. And the lobster claw is also marked 925. Then the bar is marked Avery Sterling. Very, very nice. All right, this is a metal earring. Hot paint, kind of cute. Here's a silver. I think it's silver tone, but I'll double check the back. See if it doesn't stick. It does stick. No need to check for marks then. But that's a little silver pendant there. Interesting. We have a tangle. A great big tangle. Three chains tangled up here. Oh, this is very nice. Look at this. Super shiny gold chain. One of those stiff kind. Kind of a herringbone, but these are squared. Very, very nice and sleek and shiny. I'm sure it's just a gold tone. Very nice little box clasp on that, but talk about a flashy, pretty look. This is it. Do not see any kind of a mark on it. It does, of course, stick to the magnet slightly, but look at that beautiful look. I love it. Look at the way that catches the light. That's amazing. I just really love that look. That's pretty. And it's got that rich, rich yellow gold, sunny gold, <laughs> like 22 karat, just beautiful. And just a little stretch. We have some more loose earrings, charms of all kinds, loose beads, more charms, and some bangles, lightweight gold tone, another stretch. We have a Christmas stretch with a tree and an angel.
still nice. We have more of these charms. A couple of these Santas came out already. Those are nice. Another snowman. That's the second one. That's the second snowman we get. More loose beads, broken. These are pretty little cross chains. There's quite a few of those little cross charms. I think we came across probably three or four of these, and I'll probably put these in the bead lock. Then we have, I think, a birthday cake charm, too. Another brooch. This one's pretty. It's got a little dangly heart. And it does not have a maker. That's pretty, though. Watch on these rainbow earrings or multicolored earrings. These matched up. Little pearls or faux pearls. Then I think this is a WWJD. What would Jesus do? This was a trend a few years ago. What would Jesus do? Gotta get it in the right direction. There it goes. WWJD. That's awesome. Very cool. It is on a bead ball chain. That's very nice. Nice and weighty. Those little blocks are nice and weighty charms. Then we have a gold tone or gold colored chain in here. It's tangled. All right, we got the rope one out. That was just one. A little rope chain. Let's see if that doesn't say 14K instead of gold filled. <laughs> It would be nice. Let's see what this says. Look at that. Well, it's got, I think the jump ring may have fallen. It does feel weighty. So I'm going to check it. See, these are the ends. So the jump ring is missing. No mark at all. Anywhere. So we'll have to test that. Let me get the magnet. Nope, no pulling on it. No pulling on it. A little pull. Yeah, I do see a little pull. Okay. Well, hope was there, but it's gone now. But um, it's not. It's it's got a little pull. It's probably gold filled because it does have a little pull. Here's one that's uh, obviously gold tone. <laughs> Big difference, right? Between the one that may have a little bit of gold sandwiching, as they say, with the, that's the kind of the process of gold filled, kind of a sandwich of gold around a base metal beaded necklace. Very nice little stations throughout on that. Very long, very heavy and pretty. That's a nice piece. Little animal print, leopard and tiger print bangle. That's actually pretty. I think it needs a little wash, but it's very pretty. Big, huge actually. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the jar. I think we did really well with it. I love the pieces that came out. We even got some gold, 14 karat white gold. We've got the designer jewelry here. Very interesting pieces. We got another herringbone in sterling. So very, very nice. Honestly, this was sterling too. This was sterling. Very cool. This one was still so really some nice pieces today, guys. I'm very pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, this is sterling as well. This little mom pendant. So not a bad bag for $80. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. The subscription button is right there on your right of your screen. It is always free. And uh, I hope to see you back very soon for another video. Bye.